Hi guys, I am back with January's scroll box unboxing. Yes, um, I would like to give a little to the trolls out there. If you want to hate, it just shows me what kind of rude person you are. It's a scroll box. If you don't agree with the thumbnail, I don't care because frankly, you're just wasting your time and my time. Just don't look at my damn videos if that's an issue. Okay, okay. Anywho, if anyone's going to be rude, I will just block them. Yeah, just talk to my block list. I don't care. January scroll boxing is cool. I can't wait to try it out. It is basically, we get, here's the sticker. Um, we get the card of what we got in here. We get the sketchbook. We have a couple of, we have a pen. We'll get into this later on. It's a pilot pen. And we have the Derwent, Derwent six fine, fine line pencils um i think i've had a pack before from a different artist previously in the box but you know what it's always good to try out and we have another Derwent blender pen so this is basically just like an alcohol blender you know colorless blender pen i tend to use colorless blender pen so i know what this is like when you use it with pencil we have the vimeo chew bar and it's vegan and vegetarian i think it's also gluten free so we'll try that out later on this is the artist called wang i think it's chu chu tong or chu tong i hope i said that right but they spelled the name obviously in china they tend i think they do that they put the surname first but yeah they usually tend to do that but it's i think it's chu tong or chu tong wang and they're from china illustrator They've won some prizes. I find that kind of cool. I like the artwork. It's quite simple, realistic. These are the kind of colours we have in the pencil set as well, just to show you quickly. So it's like a dark blue. We have like a light blue. We have like a grey, a purple and red and a cream colour. Now the grey is a bit lighter than what's appearing on the card. So just let me know that. And everything out of the box right now is here. The zine. Okay, I'm just going to rearrange everything and we're going to carry on with the unboxing. I can't wait to try it out. So let's just start with what we got here, right? We've got six colour color pencils. They're pr are practically a broad tip. They are, I don't know if they come in a pack of six. Let me just check. What does it say there? All right, so per box, yeah. So they all come in a box. Um, they cost twelve pounds sixty per box. That's that's quite expensive for six colors. And here you go. There they are. They have the color on the edge, so as you can tell, I think that's a dark gray. Actually, let me have a look at that. You don't really have much variety. I don't have any yellow tones. Which the only one I kind of have a yellow tone is the peach, I guess. But the rest is mostly cold cold tones i think and the red's also a hot tone but the rest are kind of cool i'm not entirely sure what i can draw with that but the the word of the day is dish of the day mm. so scrubs and food related i wish i had some green or even though i don't like greens but yeah if i had a bit of green or maybe orange or something that could have worked in that i could have drawn some carrots or something i don't know <laughs> that's not a dish though is it but anyways i've got some ideas going on in my mind right now because we've used fish here i feel like i might do something fish related um yeah, we've just shown you the Derwent blender. That costs, um, yeah, that costs £5.99. It's quite, it's not cheap. So you could probably get cheaper blend, colourless blender pens. Even if you have marker um, colourless blenders, you can use those. It will work on pencils, I know, because I've done this previously as well myself. Um, and then the next thing we have is the C White brand of Brighton. It's a Constantina sketchbook. So basically, it's inside. Let me show you. It's inside a like a hard case that you can pull out like that. And then, as it looks, you see like this, all sides. There's no side to it. So basically, you just pull it out like this. And it comes a nice large Constantina. Now, basically, what they've said is it's two pages that they've stuck together. Some parts I think the pages haven't stuck properly because it's quite like you can see there's like separation going on in the middle, but that's okay. I'm gonna be covering on it anyways. So what I'll probably do is I don't know which side I'm gonna start on. I'm gonna have to do some sketching and practicing on it. On the left side maybe. Yeah, because it's got like a little um a seam thing going on this side. So I'm gonna keep this on the back. Yeah, this will be the front page for me. So I might not sketch on that 
and sketch here a few ideas. Then we might go on to doing something in the middle here. Yeah. It's different. I've not actually had a sketchbook, a concertina one before, so this is interesting. A few of the sea um, white brand, um, Brighton brand, so that costs £7.99. The page is 140 GSM, 38 pages, If or you could just make a one large piece. And they did give it like a tip where you could cut the paper. I, I was thinking of drawing a dolphin at first and stuff, so I was thinking maybe I'll use that, but I don't think I want to eat dolphin though, so... Yeah, when we're, we're gonna think about that one a little bit. I do like dolphins though. Yes, I do like dolphins, but I don't want to eat it. It's not the dish of the day, so I'm not using that prompt for that. Okay. All right. And the next thing we have is the pilot pen over here, the B2P Echo Ball from bottle to pen. Ah, okay. I got you. That's what it means. So basically, it's because they use crushed up balls. I like the fact that they've done some packaging. I've actually bought some recently, some um, pilot pens. This is not that type, the brand I bought, but I will do an unboxing video of those. And they also had them in like nice paper packaging. So I took them out of the paper bags. It was really nice. So they're thinking about the carbon footprint, which I quite like the look of that. These pens are refillable up to apparently three times. So I'm not entirely sure how much the refillable cost, but this pen costs one pound thirty-five pence. So it's not too bad. That's not a too bad price. We didn't have a pencil in here, so I could either just sketch it with the grey pencil that's provided inside the pencils, or I could just grab a pencil and start sketching some ideas out. There are some hints inside the book. I just wanted to show you what it looks like on the inside here. I didn't get the blue pen. Um, I think I got the black one. Yeah, I got the black one. So it's four colours available. They said blue on the paper, but it's not blue. I got the black one. It was red, green and blue. Oh, mine black. Black can be, could work for me as well. It's okay. And this is the art. It's a page on the artist here. I'm liking the art style. It's kind of very illustrated and I like that. It's different. Some obviously details are not fully emphasize just for quick sketches i get that because obviously if you're on outside just doing sketching it's always good to do that like just quickly do some sketches and get then this is like previous artwork mm. and then we have this feed your imagination i quite like the way she's done this she's used some of the fine line with the pencils Thing is, I don't have the white, um, blue pen, so I'm thinking blacks might might be like a fine liner outline if I do do this line. So anyways, let's get to some ideas now. Let's get my sketchbook out. I'm going to eat this later on. Um, let's get the sketchbook out. I'm going to pop everything out of here now. I'm going to try everything out. And then we shall figure out what else we're going to do. Yeah, we didn't have any other paper. We just had the sketchbook, so yeah. Four items, six pencils, okay. Get rid of the sticker out of here. We'll keep a fish design there because that's the artist's work there. Okay. And let's do the card. Right guys, it's got pencil laying out of here for when I'm gonna use them. I'll just get everything out now and start using this. I'm just gonna put the book it's up here. Right. So, um, I do like the idea, um, one of my favourite artists is, I'm going to reference them right now because I don't want some haters coming in my chat and saying, oh, they're someone else's art. Yeah, I know. It's, um, it's, um, Drawing with Waffles. I like her art, okay? She's an amazing artist and she's, she's a great soul. So I'm going to, like, she draws, the way she draws. Um, so I'm just going to draw a little sketch here now. Um, I'm using the actual pen, the ballpoint pen, right? Just let you know, I'm just going to do a little sketch here. If you've seen her fish you'll know what i'm talking about i just love the way she draws her fish so that's my inspiration i'm not tracing it as you can tell i am sketching this from memory um if i remember how she draws them now she's an amazing artist i like her There we go. And 
It's going to give a nice chubby face, no chubby cheeks. And little fins. I think I've made mine a bit too fat. <laughs> it's okay. This is not going to be my final piece. It's just like a sketch ideas. I'm just showing you what I think is going through my mind right now. What I'm thinking about. I just want to show you how easy it is to draw. Now, apparently this is oil-based, this pen. I don't know if that's going to have an effect with the pencils or not, because I... Yeah, I'm not a colour pencil person. I'm more of a... I like alcohol markers and just using my pencils. I don't mind drawing with colour pencils. I'm just not those realistic art drawing style. But the artist did give a tip... Um, the artist of this um, squirrel box did give a tip that you just sketch your lines sketchily don't think about perfect lines and you know what i'm not going to think about it because nothing in life is perfect even though some people sit on their high horses and think they are perfect right but no one is um yeah there we go. that's my little fishy it's like a little it's like a blowfish i think i've turned it into a blowfish okay that's fine okay and that is that all right, that's the fish I was talking about. I'm now I was thinking about waffles as well when I started drawing this fish, and then I don't know, it was like a hexagon. I was thinking like a hexagon waffle. This is a hexagon, right? I hope this is the right shape I'm talking about. This was my idea. Just testing it out because I'm guessing this art is also sketches with pen. You can sketch with pen, guys. I know a lot of people that kind of don't like it, but you can do it. Um the only thing is, once that line is down, though, you can't really take it away. That's the only thing. But I have a solution for you guys. If you keep an eye on my YouTube, I will, I will fill you in on that once I make the video and post it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, there we go. I was just thinking about the waffle shapes like in here and just thinking what it would look like. Yeah, it's not too neat, but I'm making it scruffily because obviously nothing is neat. I'm just messing around here. It's just my first page. We're just going to make some, jot some ideas down here. I did eventually thought I was going to draw a person with um some kind of outfit or something on it. But then I was like, nah, let's try something different. Let's get out of that comfort zone. So I'm going to write here. This is just going to be my little... I'm going to call it. This is the... Let me find the card. Okay, so this is the pilot. Yeah. Pilot. Um, so this is basically bottle to pen. I I like that concept, bottle to pen, because they just, they're really thinking about it. There we go. And that's that. So that's what we used. I want to use a colour pencil somewhere as well. So, and then I had the idea of, have you seen those waffle, um, those waffle, what's it called? Those fish in Japan or China. I don't know if they have them in China, but Japan they definitely, I think. They're like these little waffle ones you have, like little fishies. I was thinking about that when I was brainstorming this. So that was my idea about this. Just have like a little fishy. And yeah, there we go. I think we'll put some fins over here somewhere, like I don't know, something like this. We'll put some scales in because it kind of have scaly kind of like effect on it. They're kind of cool because you get you can get like these candies as well. I've tried them; they're really nice. They have like a wafer, and then inside they have like this nice, really soft chocolate. I had the pink one, but I was thinking you can have this like a different color maybe. Uh, okay, that's that. That's my like a waffle. That's like one of those wafer ones. And then another one I was thinking was you could actually get waffles inside an ice cream. So it's like basically you have like a mouth open like this. I'll just show you quickly. Uh, I think if I can remember, it's like a circle. So an eye there. Mm. 
maybe make some gills or something on them but basically that's meant to be the lip holding and then we have like the tail of the fish it comes down around here And then we can just spike a couple of these fins on top. Mm -hmm. This is just me drawing it squirrelly, right, guys? Don't don't take it seriously. But you get the gist of what I'm trying to draw here, right? Um, and then basically have like a nice giant scoop of ice cream on top. I don't know, and then some drizzle of sauce, like syrup or chocolate sauce. A little um wafer thingy inside here you know just a little um like circle of wafer things and then we have a little spoon sticking out or oh, i don't know whatever like stick on that so i was thinking i'll probably draw something like this because i love ice cream who doesn't love ice cream yeah and that's what i'm drawing on my actual piece i think i'm going to draw something like that and we might color it in with some nice colors so that's my ideas jotted down there. Um, I want to use some colours here. I'm just going to do some random use of the colours here. I'm just going to jot all the colours down so that we can get a bit of an idea. Now I can't really see the cream too much. I don't know if you guys can pick it up on the camera. It's quite a light colour. Uh, we'll try this one. The way out. Yeah, this is also light. I just don't know how I'm gonna put across the color. Oh, is it? Oh, shot. One sec. Right there. Go. I don't think it's showing up. Okay, that's that. So those are the light colors. The light to them. Um, I'm gonna try this purple and see what happens. Like this one's showing up. I like that. At least you can see it. I like the purple, anyways. I might end up making a purple waffle or something. <laughs> You can have different colour waffles. You can put some colouring into it. It don't matter. Put the red here. Oh no, blue, sorry. Oh, this is a lovely colour. I am quite a fan of blue as well. So I was thinking to do something with blue. That looks really nice. Yeah, I like that. I'm not even pressing hard with that one. So that one's quite pigmented. Let's try the red out. Yeah, I'm not pressing hard with this either. This one's also another one. Now they say they give you a tip like to take your pencil in circle motion just to get this paper's not that smooth. It's got a bit of texture to it, so I guess there's a bit of tooth to it. Uh, I think the grey is the last one, right? Yeah, it's dark grey. Let's try this out. I'm not pressing that hard though, but this is like a pencil kind of color, like lead, not like graphite. So yeah, those two are really light. I just don't know how they're gonna pick up. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to pick up on when I'm working on something because I'm really pressing hard on this and it's indenting the paper, which I don't like because that means I can't put more pressure on it afterwards. You get what I mean? If I put too much already on it, there's no more layering that can happen over that. Okay, I'm going to quickly grab the, the blend colours blender and give it a go now on top of that. Now, I feel like I should start with the dark ones. You should have a scrap paper somewhere so you can wipe off the access. Oh, see, now it, it does make a shift, but you can't put too much on it because it will start lifting the colour off. Um, yeah, so be careful with that. And the same on the rest. It does, because I've done this before with other colourless blenders and it does work with pencils. I tend to do it just to make it nice and smooth. When you start using um, alcohol pens and then you go over with a bit of pencil, if you see the line streak, you can actually get rid of it with a colourless blender, which I do like doing. It just gives it a nice smooth finish. All right, there we go. Now, obviously, once you use the colourless blender, I think it's going to be hard to work back over it again. As you can see, it does melt it somewhat. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. It does melt it somewhat. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how these blend. Let's give this a go. I'm going to start with the red. Okay, give me one sec. Let's put a bit of colour down here. I 
think I might leave the purple and put the blue in instead. Light pink. Okay, so I'm going to take the red back over again. Hmm. So it's not blending as much as I would like, but I want to see what happens when I actually take the alcohol marker over it and see what happens. I don't know. It's kind of smudging it a little. Colour is on the nib, so you have to clean that off. Yeah, it's a bit of a smudgy effect. I just wanted to see what it looks like. Yeah, so if I'm going to pull the colour across, it is actually going to blend both the colours together. So I don't know how I feel about that. But I've had a try of it. I wanted to test it out. I've got, the only problem with this is now trying to draw on this when it's underneath. I feel like I'm going to have to fold this and I won't be able to see the picture that I've just sketched there now. That's the only downside to the sketchbook. I need something to be solid behind it. It's the only problem I have here. Yeah. Mm. To save me the aggro, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw on this page here. So that I have some support from behind, he asked. Um, this pencil I obviously got my own, but it wasn't in the pack. This pen I will obviously probably use once it's used. Um, look into it, but I like the fact that it's from a bottle to a pen. That's actually kind of cool because. Saving the ocean, guys. And yeah, I don't know. We're, we're looking into this, but I'm thinking I still need more colours to work with. If I had like a green or even a yellow or orange, it could have worked. Like even the primary colours would have been fine. Like That would have been good to work with, but I've just got two greys, a purple. It's a pale purple, it's not a dark one. Okay. Yeah. Fish of the day, I was trying to try some sweet stuff out, didn't work out as well, but I gave it a go and hope you guys gave it a go too. And this was January Squaller Box, thanks for hanging out, I appreciate you. And if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, it don't make no difference to me as long as you give me some feedback which is related to the art stuff, okay? Don't, don't go off topic, I'm not. I am not here for people who are going to come and be toxic in chat, okay? Hi guys, I did try um, drawing this dolphin here. Um, obviously it's not dish a day, but I just thought I'll try it out. Because I just wanted to mix some colours in. So I'll probably sign this off again. In pen. So that... Yeah, oh, 2003, sorry. This is January. Smaller box. And yeah, I'm liking it. I could probably work on this a bit more um, just with the shading on, but I just wanted to blend a couple of the colors and see how they would work. I didn't want to just make it gray. So I was trying to pick up on some shade values, but obviously it's not going to be like the real thing. I didn't spend that much time on this drawing because I just wanted to do a quick drawing off camera to see if I liked it or not. So that's why this is just like not being recorded. But I'm liking it a little. I to give it a bit more shade there. If I had another, um, like a lighter blue, I think I could have worked with it a little bit more in order to put some more brights in there somewhere. 
I'm just scratching some dark and some light in there somewhere so just to give it a bit more variant in the shades. Try to add a bit of purple as well as um, the greys. I didn't want it just to be all grey. I know dolphins are grey, but obviously I wanted to put some shine lines somewhere and a bit of some different tones in because I don't really tend to work with pencils in different tones. I felt like this these colours kind of work together, the blues, greys, and so that's what I was trying to do over here, but it just didn't it wasn't successful. I feel like the animal drawing is way better. I was trying to use um the cream on the teeth, but like I say, I can't really see it much, so it's just gonna be blended in there a little for the tongue as well. But yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, just wanted to show you that quickly. Thanks for watching the video. See you. Bye.